So on this, today of days, a wondrous thing has happened. Donkey Kong Land, one, two, three. Donkey Kong Country. Oh, hold on, hold on. Donkey Kong Country. One, two, three. Fucking awesome sauce. Now, let me explain why the Donkey Kong Country game is coming back to the Wii U and uh, 3DS eShop is a big deal. Uh, so, near the start of the Wii's life cycle, the Donkey Kong Country games were released uh, for Virtual Console, and then in, I think it was 2011, it might have been 2012, the games were brought back down from the uh, Wii Shop channel. Uh, the reason for that being is that Rare uh, decided that that was their IP and they didn't want really Nintendo selling it. Uh, so they took the games down off the eShop, but everybody who bought them previously was still allowed to keep them. Uh, now, the games are real. <laughs> I can't talk and form a cohesive thought process. Uh, the games are re-released on the Wii U Virtual Console today uh, in North America. They were re-released in Japan and Europe uh, quite a while ago, but uh, today in North America, they're available worldwide, which is fucking awesome. You know why this is so awesome? Because of a little game that I hold in my hand called Donkey Kong 64. Now, if you recall, way, way back, uh, Donkey Kong Country was actually the first game, uh, since Donkey Kong 3, which was, like, uh, an arcade game where, like, you played as Donkey Kong Jr., and you were trying to rescue Mario. Now, uh, the Donkey Kong Country games were de developed by Rare, uh, throughout the course of, like, 1992 through, like, 1996. Uh, the games were released, like, successively in 94, 95, 96, but, uh, they started development in 92, I'm pretty sure. It might have been 93, but I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, they, uh, they worked on those games, Rare did, and then they worked on Donkey Kong 64 after a while and other games among it, uh, like Perfect Dark, uh, GoldenEye 64, Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, uh, so on and so forth. So they worked on all those games and stuff like that, and then afterwards, uh, as they were moving towards the GameCube era, they worked on a game called called Starfax Temperatures. I almost said the actual game name. It's called Star Fox Adventures. And um, that was the last game that they developed while they were still with Nintendo. Now, uh, they were sold off to Microsoft, as many of you probably already know. In fact, probably everybody watching this already knows. Uh, but they were sold off to Microsoft, and then Microsoft did basically nothing with the company. Uh, now, what does this mean? Uh, it means that Rare is sort of being a little bit more relaxed about the Donkey Kong IP. Uh, if you recall, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Kitty Kong, Funky Kong, Cranky Kong, and Candy Kong, and Wrinkly Kong, and Swanky Kong, and all those fucking bears from DKC3, those are all intellectual property of Rare, uh, if, if you'll recall. I believe, actually, Diddy Kong was intellectual property of Nintendo, but he was the only one of them. I might be wrong on that, but uh, I could also be correct. I definitely know Kitty Kong is IP of Rare. Um, along with that, Lanky Kong and Chunky Kong and Tiny Kong are all IP of um, Rare as well. Although, if, if uh, Dixie Kong is IP of Nintendo, it's highly, highly debatable whether or not Tiny Kong is as well, because they're essentially the same character. And, like, if they took it to court, I'm I'm actually pretty sure that a court would rule that Tiny Kong is intellectual property of Nintendo. However, uh, seeing as though the games are re-released for the Virtual Console on the Wii U, and uh, the Donkey Kong Land games, who I'm not actually sure who they were developed by, but those games are also fun, and it's also awesome that those were put on. Uh, those are put on the 3DS eShop. So $37.75 later, uh, I have all the games, and I'm super happy. And I'm sitting here thinking, what about Donkey Kong 64? Well, uh, in all honesty, I smell a remake in the sights of my face hole. Because Nintendo has been in a habit lately of remaking N64 games. Uh, they started with Super Mario 64, 
Uh, then they moved on to other games that I can't think of right now. And then there was Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, they have remade other games for the N64, but uh, not too, too many. But Donkey Kong 64 would be a fantastic game to have on a handheld. And the reason for that is because it's designed for short play sessions. It's not like Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie, where uh, there's a lot of really complex things to do. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie is more so designed for like a handheld game than Banjo-Tooie is. Banjo-Tooie uh, has quite a few complex things to do. Uh, sorry, I, sh I, should, I should go back on what I said there. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie for the N64 is not designed well for uh, short play sessions. But for the Xbox, where they fixed the, uh, the the issue where you died and you lost all your notes, and like if you were in the process of getting a jiggy, nothing would save until you got that jiggy. Uh, but um, those games aren't as well tailored for uh, extended play periods. Whereas Donkey Kong 64, you could pop in the game, play for five minutes, get a golden banana, and then shut it off. Ba uh, Banjo Tooie especially is not that way. A lot of the go a lot of the jiggies in that game take like upwards of 20, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of overly complex ones, and uh, on top of that, like there's a lot of other collectibles that take a while to get. Uh, there's like quests and stuff like that, and you have to remember all this stuff. But Donkey Kong 64 lends itself very, very well to mobile play and short play sessions. Uh, and the reason that I say that is because of the fact that it is very, very quick to get a lot of golden bananas in the game. There are a few, uh, there are quite few and far between, but there are a few that take an extended period of time. Uh, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head right now. Uh, I really can't, actually. Uh, oh, oh, there's the one that, uh, that you get. Uh, it, it involves tiny porting up to the roof of Crystal Caves, and, uh, killing the guy on the roof. Uh, you don't get a golden banana for that, but you get a golden banana for something relating to that. Once you kill him, something gets unlocked, if I remember correctly. Or no, 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 you unlock a boulder and then you can go and kill him, that's right. But yeah, uh, the game saves that you killed him, uh, and then he never comes back, because apparently he's just too large to be respawned. But yeah, uh, there are very, very few golden bananas in the game that take an extended period of time, so that's why it lends itself well to mobile play. And that is why I am very, very hopeful for Donkey Kong 64 to be remade on either the 3DS or the Wii U. I would more likely say the 3DS, uh, just because of the fact that they've, they've, they've tried to stick the remakes onto the handhelds as opposed to uh, onto the main console. Like, the GameCube games lend themselves a lot better to remakes on the home console, so yeah. I'm also hoping for Super Mario Sunshine 2, but that's a whole other story. The main thing that we're talking about is Donkey Kong 64, and I'm really, really hoping for a remake, because the game, uh, I wouldn't say it's overdue for a remake or something like that, but graphically it could use an update. Uh, the, actually, the game does look really good. Actually, it doesn't need a remake, but I would just like one, okay? Call me selfish, what have you. I cut my hand on broken glass, that's what's with the band-aid, by the way, if you were wondering. But yeah, uh, I, I would really like to see a remake of Donkey Kong 64. In fact, that that is probably my number one game to be remade, uh, to be honest, because I just feel like it would lend itself very, very well to mobile play. And I think it would do very, very well on the 3DS. But that's a whole other thing. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, my main points for... Um, for the game coming. Again, if you wanted the TL TLDR version, is that it lends itself very well to mobile play, and Rare has loosened their copyright grip on the Donkey Kong franchise. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. And with that, I'm super excited, so I'm gonna go play some Donkey Kong. So yeah, goodbye, and thank you for watching.